Seguiaro out the back. Boas gets the ball on. Now, a lot of people have been waiting for this. After our last World Cup, we've been really excited to, to get to this next one and see what we can do. A little jump, he pops the ball. I think it's going to be good for the country as well, a bit more of a um, sporting spectacle that, that everyone can get on board with. I think it's been nearly two years now since I've put on a PNG jersey. Uh, I can't wait to represent them again. This World Cup's going to be probably the most exciting it's been for a long time because a lot of the, the smaller nations have got really good teams um, and everyone's going to be a competitive team in this World Cup. Well, yeah, we've got probably one of the toughest uh, pools I think personally because you've got Tonga and Cook Islands which is, their, their teams are going to be uh, quite good I think. I'm excited for that but uh, yeah it would be bragging rights here for sure I think whoever gets the win. How's this left side then with Austin goes short to Martin a gap opens up and Rhys Martin scores Leeds Runners second try. Luke Yates has his hands on his head. He's going to kick this because he just doesn't miss. 33 consecutive kicks for him. Not a miss since the game against the Cows of the Tigers. This to make it 36 in a row. And equal Mason Lino's record. He's on target. And Leeds belatedly are on target. For the light take home the spoils and keep up that long unbeaten home record here at the Lee Sports Village as Ipape on the end of a lovely offload, Ipape to win it for Lee! Edwin Ipape celebrates! When sometimes just to really be a little bit more methodical in, in, their, in their process and oh my goodness! And Pepe picks oh up my the ball, he's got down, he's just got rest for the big match. Down the touchline, he's got to go, he's got to go 60 wow. metres and he's got a score in the corner and he just explodes onto the ball, sprints 60 metres to get the ball down. And the winner is Edwin Ipape. Yeah, it means a lot, obviously, it means a lot for me and um, for myself my family um, and also for this club you know there's been a lot of um, outstanding players in, in the comp this year and um, uh, without my teammates you know there wouldn't be an hour like this to be presented so you know credit to the to my boys and what we've worked hard this year and I think um, this hours you know there's not one player that deserves it but as a team you know we, we deserve this hour so I'm just I'm honored and really humbled to um, Presented that one yesterday. Yeah, look, Edwin's been outstanding the whole season. You know, I found Edwin. Um, he was living up in the Highlands of Papua New Guinea when I signed him, and uh, I've watched him uh, play some junior rugby, so I knew what he was capable of, and always wanted to coach him. So we got him over here, and he's been outstanding for us. He's, he's certainly brought that the crowds alive with the way that he attacked, and um, he's that explosive um, impact player with X Factor. And, uh, what he's done for us as a, as, a, as a club this year, we can't thank him enough. And I think, you know, I'll make a prediction that he'll, if we get up, can get up in the Super League with an 80 minute performance, I think in the next two or three years, I think he could potentially be the best player in Super League. So. There he goes short, Sidlow offloads it, Pampe going for the line! Crashes over! It's Shemendal in the cup final win! He might just have set the Centurion to the top of the championship! Each and every one of us, we expect ourselves to be you know be on top of our game and our, our training when it comes to you know business time so it's important for us to come out and put our best foot forward every time I guess this up he gets one on the 20 but just a sign early on here as Hooli will go oh, it's given it away Luke Hooli has just given the first try of the game Lachlan Lamb scores it disaster for the family Bulldogs they just put on an amazing Lee's early kick. Aikens breaks through. Now Aikens is quick. He's got support. He's inside. And it's going to be a debut try. Lachlan Lamb dives in. He looks up at the Featherstone fans and says, see you later, guys. 
Another wonderful atmosphere here in Port Moresby. Into a space, he's through Seguiaro, he's got support on his right shoulder. And in they go, on debut, over they go, in to score, lock the land for the Cobbles. Dad sort of convinced me to go there and told me it'd be the time of my life. And I didn't know anyone, I didn't uh, any of that sort of stuff. And they, they obviously speak their, their uh, native language there. And, uh, like it was, I was going to be a little bit of a fish out of water there, but I, um, I ended up going, and it was, you know, it was absolutely unreal. I think we spent a total of seven weeks over there. Won all three of our, our pool games over there, and I was lucky enough to play in the, the last one. And um, I think after that, I was just a little taste to, of, of what it's like. And you know, I, I quickly learned the, the passion that the, the fans have and the players have, and what it means to to the whole country. So it was, there's a, a game off for PNG, so you know, I, I worked all that out pretty quickly, which was special. And I owed the team and, and you know the fans and you know the, the country. I owed, Good performance because I haven't played in that, but I think he's doing Baptiste goes the other way. Lachlan Lamb hands it on to Martin. He pushes away one, he pushes away two, and then Andy McDonald pushes away three, and McDonald goes in to score. Oh, push to Lamb. Lamb off the back to come to McDonald. McDonald then in two month tackles somehow gets out with it. Too big, too strong, and he marks it all. gets it to McDonald. McDonald skips out of one. He's going to go for the line himself. Yeah. The big man is in.